What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Monday. We've already covered the national team boosters, Canavero, Makalele, and Cafu. And now we are going to be taking a look at Early at the Might there. We're going to be taking a look at AC Milan. So this pack, Rafael, Leao, Tomori, and Giroud. I think Leao is potentially going to be the meta buster. He is amazing. His stats are ridiculous. We are going to be trying to spin for him as well, uh, either on Monday's live stream or else during the week, maybe for Thursday, because these packs are on until next Monday. Now there's seven days left in these, or six days including today. So we will start with Giroud, right? Giroud is not going to be the best type of player in this, even with his booster. He does get a striker's instinct booster. We've seen this a few times before. I do feel that his best ability is going to be an impact player. There are certain players that are like starter, god tier, or like really good. And then there are certain impact players that are god tier. And I think Giroud does fit that bill. He's something different. He's able to bang in goals. He's got a nice couple of uh, skills. He's got one touch pass, first time shot, aerial superiority and acrobatic finishing. And of course, super sub with fighting spirit. He doesn't have uh, one touch, or he doesn't have, um, oh, he does have heading. Sorry, boys. I didn't see that at the top there. Uh, and he does have outside Carter as well. He doesn't have chip shot control though. So that is something that if you are used to kind of getting cheeky chips, uh, it is more difficult with Giroud. You can still do it, but it's more difficult. Now, as for his booster, nothing is going to really compare to the fact that he has got really low speed and acceleration. But the massive killer for this card, in my opinion, is the balance and the tight possession for where the gameplay has gone at the moment, which means you do need to train him up like so. So we have trained him up like this, 9 into shooting, 10 into dribbling, 7 into dexterity, 1 into passing, and 6 each into lower body and aerial strength. So... Look, there is a lot to dislike about this card as well, but you are going to have 95 finishing, you're going to have 90 plus heading. Um, offensively, he's going to be very, very solid. His tight possession is going to be at about 80. He's going to be an impact player. There's no real other point in saying any differently about him. I mean, he's not going to be like a beastly starting player. Uh, Collar is a lot better than him naturally, but uh, there is, if you want a target man, he's not a bad option. Now, there are a couple of other players in here as well that are worth looking at. You've got Moignan, you've got Hernandez, you've also got Chuck Wazy, Musa. This guy, Musa, looks beastly. I will go through all of these in a separate video because there are some really nice things to say about these cards. I mean, especially Musa, he's got 32 levels. We had a free player, uh, Musa, with the festive uh, deal or the festive chance deal. And this guy is a beast, man. If you didn't get the free version of him, if you're a newcomer, he is a beast as well. Very, very, very tricky on and off the ball. There's some nice cards there. But if you guys want me to do this pack selection here, let me know. Because this video is just going to be kept short and sweet for the big time. So again, we look at Tomori. Tomori is going to get to that meta uh, 75 or that 85 speed with the boost. So when we take a look at this card here, it's a plus two to his defending stat. And his defending stats with the booster, man marking interception, blocker, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. So the only thing he doesn't have there is any attacking skills to go forward, like one touch pass or anything like that. He has everything else that you could possibly think of. He doesn't have heading. That's the only one he doesn't have for a defensive minded CB, but he is down as a destroyer. Now, with the way that the game is currently at the moment, it's all about having that speed at about 85 to 90 and then every defensive stat into the 90s as well. So when we take a look at Tamori here, we are getting half of that, but we're not getting the full amount, right? So for example, we are with the boosters there and everything, we are going to be getting, you know, 80 plus speed and 90 in every defensive stat. But I just feel like that he's just not where he needs to be. I think if you are going to be spinning for this pack, and it's why I'm not really taking this pack um, you know, into consideration too much is that you can get a lot of these. I mean, you shouldn't really be spinning this pack for any of these players. And I include Giroud and Tomori in this or Hernandez, who's got a fairly beastly card. I don't think you should need, you need to be, you know, spinning for any of these because there's GP alternatives. There's different uh, guys that you can get off the match pass that are a lot cheaper and you won't have to take the chance of going deep. I think the only reason to spend to spin for this AC Milan pack, and I think they've been clever doing this, is because Rafael Leao is one of the best cards I've ever seen them release. And honestly, it's just the fact that he's so unique. That's the biggest thing. Forget about just his pure stats at the moment, right? Focus on his player physique, focus on his player ID and his actual AI style. His ball control is the weakest of his dribbling stats, but every other single stat is going to be into the 90s, including finishing, which is ridiculous. We're talking about finishing because we'd only play him as a CF. You have also on top of that, you've got double touch, you've got soul control, you just throw on flip flap on him and you've got your ball roll on a player that's 188 centimeters. He's strong, he's physically very, 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 very strong and of course he's very quick. 
So that's going to be a, a lethal combination. But the biggest thing about this Rafael Leao, in my personal opinion, from having played with a lot of cards like this, is how unique he is for his balance between tight possession, acceleration, and balance for his whole playing uh, play style this size. I mean, he's a big unit. He's a lot bigger than the likes of Messi or some of those players. So he can play that run and gun while having the physicality of a DMF, such as Vieira, to be able to throw people off the ball, but also have that speed and that blister and pace on and off the ball. So it's a ridiculous card. Obviously, if you wanted to train him up, if you do get him, it's going to take a bit of luck if you do get him. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like he's worth it. That's the build that we've gone for nine into shooting, 10 into dribbling, 11 into dex, 35 into lower body. And then that is going to give you this card here with all the boosts and everything. It's going to be literally acceleration maxed out, balance nearly maxed out, speed into the 90s with dribbling, ball control, anti-possession all into the 90s and finishing into the 90s. He's got 31 levels. Honestly, I think that they've really given this card a ridiculous rating. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's just a short video, lads. Let me know if you want the rest of these. I personally don't think the rest of these are worth it. Yeah, there is a couple of hidden gems in there like Musa and Hernandez. But I do feel like the only player you should be spinning for in this is going deep for Leao if you make that decision early. You know, don't go half in because you might just end up getting Drew after spending 10,000 coins and then it's all down to Swan Swanee. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leao is definitely one of the best players that they've released as a CF. And uh, yeah, we will see you in a little bit.